when we usually think about somebody racist, we think about like somebody in a KKK hood, right? We think about these like very, very extreme things. I'm gonna challenge all of us to think about microaggressions and our individual unconscious biases. I think for us as people in America, our default is to be racist. My default is that I am a racist person. That is my default. My default is that I am a sexist person. That is all of our default. And if that's painful to hear, I'm sorry, that's the truth. We're breathing in it, we're being suffocated in it. It's like, it's like walking through the rain and thinking that the water isn't hitting you. It's hitting all of us. So unless we're actively doing something to not let the water hit us, whether it's an umbrella or a raincoat, that water is hitting us. So all of our default is to be racist, sexist, ableist, all these things. I'm a Muslim American, and I know I can pass as not being Muslim American because I don't wear hijab, but right after 9-11, a neighbor tried to run me over with his car two blocks from my home. But I still have privileges. I'm able-bodied. I'm young. I'm educated. I have a job. I'm married. I live in New York City. Those are all privileges. And all of us really, I am asking all of you to really, really look at your individual behaviors and to really speak up for other people. The privileges that we do have, the fact that we're in New York City, we can do a lot for people in other parts of the country. I have a girlfriend who does reproductive rights work in Mississippi. I can do a lot for her from sitting here because she has a very different world where she lives. So please get involved with good organizations and, and really please practice self-care. And, and thank you, all of you.